Hey, what's going on you guys? Uh, coming from Georgia here. I uh, just want to do a quick review on my Ascend D10 Kayak. Um, first off, you can get these at Bass Pro Shop for about $470. I actually picked mine up offline um, for about $350. So, got a little steal on it. Um, so far, I've been fishing out of this thing for about a year. I'm very impressed. Granted, I haven't had many kayaks to compare it to as far as to sit on top. But for what it is and the price I got it for, it's a great kayak. Um, one of the things, it's a tunnel hole design. So that runs all the way down the center. And as you can see, got it on top of my guitar stool there. That goes all the way down. Um, so it tracks very, very straight. That's a little harder to turn, but you know, we're not going on rapids, we're fishing. So uh, you have this little front bungee area here. Uh, sometimes I'll put my tackle box up here, but you know, 90% of the time, I keep it right up front. So I'm gonna worry about it. Easy, simple, don't, it's out of the way. So this is my little cockpit area. Um, got a couple of little compartments, little foam floaty thing I found at REI. About five bucks, best investment ever. So I can actually use my phone instead of putting it in a dry box. But you got a little compartment up here. Um, right here, I actually put some pipe insulator. So I can actually do one of two things. When I'm switching out my lures, I can either stick it into the pipe insulation so the hook's out of the way and I won't stick myself if I'm, you know, I want to switch back to that lure. Or I can just throw it in the compartment. Um, that's what I do sometimes if I'm in a hurry. It also depends on where I'm at. Um, if I don't on the open lake, most of the time I just toss it in there. Um, this is my uh, fish finder. Um, it's a Humminbird 197C DI. See if you guys can't see this. I'm going, going into simulator mode because I'm in my garage, not in the water. So this actually has down imaging and sonar. Um, I can actually put a fish identifier on it as well. Um, comes in really handy. Um, some people are like, oh, you don't need one, but, you know, on Lake Altoona and stuff like that, sometimes you got to have one. It's a little easier to find fish. So go ahead and turn that off. just want to show you guys that. Um, it's actually not too hard to install one of these. Um, some people ask me why I put it right over my cup holder uh, because I don't ever use it. Uh, most of the time my Gatorades, my water go in my cooler in the back. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I don't really worry about it. So the wires, the power wire and the transducer wire actually go all the way around behind this little lip right here. And then this actually goes to a battery box, which is conveniently located behind my seat. Um, it's really nice. Uh, I really like having it. It's convenient. Uh, this is actually uh, my seat. Um, it's actually removable. I can take it out if I want. Most of the time I don't. Uh, I have a little stool that I carry with me because it's just more of a hassle. I have to take something out of the kayak. Um, so yeah. Um, what's a little different about my setup than other people's, I've uh, watched a bunch of videos on uh, people putting their transducer like, you know, in the bottom hole. I don't know. I just don't like it. I prefer it to be straight in the water. So what I did is I did a little um, eight frame PVC pipe. On this side is normally where I put my fishing rod. So whenever I'm paddling out, just throw that back there. And this side is actually where I drop my transducer down. So what's nice about this is I actually made it a little bit higher than the bottom of my boat. So if I ever hit a rock or anything like that, you know, I can, I don't have to worry about it because, you know, it's gonna clear it. Uh, this is actually removable. Let's see if I can't pop this out without my kayak falling over. So I actually, most of the time when I'm traveling, I'll store it right there on the side. Uh, it doesn't do any damage to it and it's not gonna go anywhere. So yeah. Um, stay. All right, so um, this is a little mesh net that kind of covers up my uh, milk crate I got back here. Uh, I don't have anything fancy milk crate. I don't have multiple rod and holders. Most of the time I take one rod out. Um, just this is what I do right now. Um, got my anchor back here. Got my little cooler that I take with me. 
from all those snacks. Um, something I want to point out, uh, I actually found this video online um, of who, whoever posted it, props to them because it's a genius idea. So what you do is you, you melt your knot at the bottom of your grapple anchor, this little five pound anchor, and then you actually zip tie the top right here. Reason being is because if you ever get hung up on something, I'll show you guys how this comes out. So if you ever get hung up on something, obviously, very possible, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna give that rope a nice little tug and it's going to snap that zip tie and then it'll be pulling from the bottom of the rope. And I actually use a buoy. Um, there's my little zigzag cleat that I tie off with. But if I ever hook up, uh, that's why I have the buoy. I can just actually throw it and I can come back and get my anchor uh, because, you know, I'd rather catch a fish than pop my line because I can't move. So that's kind of convenient. Um, get your drain plug right here. It's one thing I really don't like about this kayak. I was thinking about moving it, but, it, you know, so far it hasn't really bothered me. Um, I wish the drain plug was a little farther back so that way when I have it tilted towards the back, you know, it'll be easier to drain the water, but then versus almost a foot off the side. So, but like I said, it doesn't bother me. Here's a back view. But yeah, uh, so you guys, uh, that's my Ascend D10 kayak. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, um, you know, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, uh, tips, whatever, you know, I appreciate it. I'm really ready for this uh, next season to come up, and uh, y'all have fun fishing. I'll see you guys later.